hard to believe, but just seven years ago, there were no pro sports franchises here in Las Vegas. But in the last year, the sports spectacles and celebrations have been nonstop. It truly is the greatest arena on earth. And Fox 5 sports reporter Mariah Janos takes us through the monumental sports moments of 2023. 2023 was the year that Las Vegas truly became the epicenter of the sports world on all levels, collegiate, professional, and international games. It all began in March when the NCAA decided to partner with the city they had previously avoided like the plague, bringing March Madness to T-Mobile Arena. Vegas is one of the most popular cities in the world, so um, you see the bright lights, you see you see just the atmosphere and the environment that it is in Vegas. That was just the beginning of a busy few months at T-Mobile. When summer rolls around, it symbolizes the hockey season coming to a close. The Vegas Golden Knights ending the year on the ultimate high note, fulfilling Bill Foley's prophecy of a Stanley Cup in the first six years of the franchise's existence. What I didn't know right away when I got hired, he says he was going to win the Stanley Cup in year six, and I found it was year six after I signed. So I said, all right, there's a little bit of pressure here, but here we are. Then it was the ladies' turn to run it back, the Las Vegas Aces, putting on a show all season long and carrying it into the postseason, dominating opponent after opponent until the very end, pulling off an unbelievable championship win against the New York Liberty while down half their starting lineup. A lot of people in here said Liberty in five. We know. <laughs> we know. Between the Knights and the Aces, this city saw two championship parades in a span of four months, putting the rest of the country on notice. Las Vegas is a sports town. This is an incredible community, an incredible community. Mark Davis reveling in the success of one of his franchises. He decided to make some changes to the struggling one, the Raiders. Davis finally acknowledging the cries of disgruntled Raider Nation, cleaning house in the front office that left the silver and black without a head coach, GM, and offensive coordinator. It sounds bad, but it was the best thing he could have done as interim head coach Antonio Pierce stepped into the role and won over the hearts of his locker room and the fans. Just to win, just wanna win. The city of Las Vegas is used to welcoming in people from all over the world. And that was cranked up tenfold when Formula One came to town for the iconic race on the strip. Formula One's always a show, but Vegas uh, definitely have taken it to the next level. Meanwhile, the OG local team, the UNLV Rebels, have the best season in recent history, racking up nine wins under new head coach and Mountain West Coach of the Year, Barry Odom. The Rebels making it to the Mountain West Championship for the first time in program history and playing in a bowl game for the first time in 10 years. Go Rebels. As the sun sets on a successful 2023, the sports scene just continues its upward trajectory in 2024, beginning on New Year's Day, as the Golden Knights will play in their first winter classic against the Seattle Kraken. And at the core of it all, what we've been anticipating and planning for since its announcement, Super Bowl 58 at Allegiant Stadium on February 11th. The city is showing no signs of slowing down. Vegas has simply become the sports hostess with the mostest. And we're just getting started. Mariah Janos, Fox 5 News, local, Las Vegas.